Right now, defending a warship against a single hypersonic missile costs the U.S. Navy millions of dollars per shot, but the laser systems we're covering promise to change that to a cost of just pennies per engagement. How? Because this technology is limited by just one thing. And it's not ammunition. We'll show you the crazy economic equation that makes the ship's fuel tank the true magazine of the future. October 4th, 2022. The USS Gerald R. Ford, America's newest, most powerful aircraft carrier, deploys for the first time. $13 billion, five acres of flight deck, more firepower than 60 nations combined. But here's the truth. No one wants to say out loud. It's already obsolete. China has a missile that travels at Mach 10. 1,500 miles away, invisible to radar until it's too late. And right now, the U.S. Navy has no way to stop it. Unless, December 10, 1941, three days after Pearl Harbor, the British Royal Navy deployed two of the most powerful battleships ever built. HMS Repulse, HMS Prince of Wales, 50,000 tons of steel, dozens of anti-aircraft guns, unstoppable. At 11.18 a.m., Japanese bombers crested the horizon. By 1.20 p.m., both ships were at the bottom of the ocean. It was the first time in history that aircraft, fast, cheap, and disposable, had sunk the world's most powerful warships. Today, history is repeating itself. But this time, the threat isn't propeller planes. It's hypersonic missiles. And America's answer is invisible. China doesn't hide its intentions. In the Taklamakan Desert, buried deep in classified territory, there's a military testing site, full-size replicas of American aircraft carriers. Target practice. The weapon they're testing is called the DF-21. 1D, 35 feet tall, 32,000 pounds, nuclear capable. It can destroy a carrier from 1,000 miles away. Then there's the DF-26, longer range, four stories high, and the DF-ZF, the one that keeps admirals awake at night. Mach 10, 1,500 miles, fully maneuverable. It doesn't fly in an arc like a normal missile. It dances through the atmosphere, unpredictable, unstoppable. Retired Navy Master Chief Don Garcia said it best. Intercepting missiles in flight is one of the most complicated fire control problems that exists. Now imagine trying to stop something moving at one mile per second, something that changes direction mid-flight, something you can't see coming until it's already too late. That's the problem. Now here's the secret weapon. The U.S. Navy installed something strange on the deck of the USS Ponce. It looked like a telescope, white, round, unassuming. They called it La WS, the laser weapon system, 33 kilowatts of invisible power. In one test, they deployed a small speedboat rigged with replica cannons. As it sped away, the laser locked on, no sound, no warning no visible beam, just heat. The cannons exploded, shrapnel splashed into the water. The boat kept moving, the dummy driver untouched, surgical, silent, invisible. In another test, they launched a drone from a nearby ship. The laser engaged. Within seconds, the drone caught fire and plummeted into the sea. Fast forward to August 2022. The Navy installed its first permanent laser on a destroyer, the USS Preble. This one's called Helios. High energy laser with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance. 60 kilowatts, $105 million. But here's what makes it terrifying. It has a dimmer switch, low power, it blinds a drone's sensors, non-lethal, full power, it burns through steel. And because it fires at the speed of light, there's no leading the target, no calculating trajectory, point, fire, hit, instantly. But 60 kilowatts isn't enough, not for what's coming. Here's the dirty secret of modern warfare. Economics. A U.S. Navy interceptor missile costs between $1 and $10 million. A Chinese hypersonic missile, about the same. But here's the problem. China doesn't need to sink the carrier. They just need to overwhelm its defenses. The USS Gerald R. Ford sails with a carrier strike group, 10 or more ships, each one armed with surface-to-air missiles, radar systems that can detect targets 200 miles away. Phalanx close-in weapon systems firing 4,500 rounds per minute. They can intercept dozens of missiles, maybe even 100, but then they run out. The Pentagon calls this the depth of magazine problem. Once the missiles are gone, the ships have to return to port, restock, reload, and in a real war, there's no time for that. But a laser doesn't run out of ammo. The Ford generates 300 megawatts of electrical power, enough to power a small city. And every shot from a laser, one to $10, $10 million versus $1, unlimited magazine, unlimited shots. As long as the reactor runs, the weapon never stops. The ship's fuel tank becomes the magazine. The generator becomes the ammunition factory. China spent decades building a $20 million missile that can't be stopped. The U.S. Navy's response? A weapon that costs less than a cup of coffee. And
and it has an infinite magazine. This isn't just a new weapon, it's economic warfare at the speed of light. But there's a problem. Hypersonic missiles are built to withstand 1700 degrees Fahrenheit. Their nose cones, pyrolytic graphite, pyroceram ceramics, materials designed to survive re-entry from space. 60 kilowatts won't stop them. Next year, the Navy will test a 300 kilowatt laser. They call it HELCAP, High Energy Laser Counter Anti-Ship Cruise Missile Program. 300 kilowatts can stop cruise missiles, but not hypersonics. For that, they need something bigger, one megawatt, one million watts of directed energy. In July 2022, Northrop Grumman completed the preliminary design, a high-energy laser that combines multiple beams into one, powerful enough to burn through heat-resistant materials, fast enough to track a target moving at one mile per second, precise enough to hit a coin-sized weak point on a missile warhead. And here's the kicker, no human can do this. Human reaction time, 0.25 seconds. At Mach 10, the missile has already traveled over half a mile. But the AI integrated into the AEGIS radar system, it calculates, predicts, locks on. In milliseconds, it identifies the weakest point, a sensor, a seam, a structural flaw, and it holds the beam, perfectly still, on a target moving faster than a bullet. No explosion, no smoke, just gone. This is the moment machines became better than us at war. And it might be the only thing that saves us. The USS Gerald R. Ford is not obsolete. Not yet, because while China has been building missiles, America has been building Building something they can't see. A weapon that fires at the speed of light. A weapon that costs a dollar per shot. A weapon with an infinite magazine. 80 years ago, battleships ruled the seas. Then, air power made them obsolete overnight. Today, hypersonic missiles threaten to do the same to carriers. But this time, America isn't standing still. The future of naval warfare won't be decided by who has the fastest missile. It will be decided by who can make that missile disappear, silently, invisibly, at the speed of light. Because America's power is not just in its weapons, it's in the minds that build them, and the resolve to stay Subscribe one step ahead. For more briefings,